faith in God. Amen. And the thought is, you can have what you need, but also what you want. Amen. Have faith in God. Amen. Faith is belief in God. Amen. Hebrews 11 and 1 says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for Amen. and the evidence of things not seen. Amen. The NIV says, Hebrews 11 and 1, Now faith is being sure of what we hope for, and certain of what we do not see. Amen. And so faith is believing God yes. for what we ask for. Amen. We are sure we will receive it. Yes. Even though we can't see it, how it will be done, but we know that it will come to pass. Amen. Some of us have said God will supply our needs, and that's so true. Philippians 4 and 19 says, But my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory. Glory to your name. I have faith enough to believe you can have what you need, also what you want. That's right. Our faith will increase through trials and tests. It doesn't always feel good, and most of the time it don't. But our faith can be increased if we go through, if we just stand firm and don't give up, don't give in to the devil. He wants, to give, he wants you to give up. When he tried to tug at you and test you, talk to you, put all kinds of things in your mind. But just know that he is a deceiver. Yes, he is. That he is a father of all lies. Yes, know that he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. No matter what shape or form that he comes, recognize him. Right. Build a resistance against him. The word of God is our resistance. Yes, it is. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus told the devil, it is written. Hallelujah. That man should not live by bread alone, but by every word. We have to live by the word. We have to have faith in the word. We have to believe in God. Hallelujah, because everything will be all right. Amen. Resist the devil. James 4 and 7 says, Submit yourself therefore unto God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. We have to surrender. We have to humble ourselves. Right. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We have to yield. Yes, Hallelujah. We have to be under subjection, yeah. hallelujah, not only to your husband or to the pastor, but we have to be under subjection to God. Right. And he said, when we do this, when we resist, hallelujah, he will flee. Yeah. We have to stop opposition when we are resisting, mm -hmm. hallelujah. hallelujah. We're working against what the devil is trying to work for us. We're working against that because we have God on our side. Right. Hallelujah. We have faith. Right. Glory. Hallelujah. Yeah. We need to stop limiting God. Right. Hallelujah. Right. Glory to God. We need to have faith. Yes, we can believe for a headache, but not a toothache. And I want to take out this time to say that I believe you can take medicine. I believe that you can go to the doctor. But the doctor have a limit. Right. God doesn't have a limit. Right. Hallelujah. Right. Hallelujah. Right. Take the medicine, okay. But when it don't stop hurting, you know God is right there. Right. He is a healer. Yes, he is. Glory to you.
Hallelujah now. Sometimes we limit him. Hallelujah. We want, we believe in God for a thousand dollars, but we need to believe him for a million. Hallelujah. Because all of it belongs to him. The silver and the gold. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The cattle on a thousand years. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We can believe him for a car, but not a home. Believe him for a McDonald's or a Burger King, but we don't want to believe him for that we can go and have a, a steak dinner at an exclusive restaurant. But we need to believe God in all things. Right. He can do all things. Yes, Nothing is impossible with God. Right. Hallelujah. If you have the Lord on your side, hallelujah, don't take down and don't limit God. Right. Because hallelujah, glory, he will work it out. He will bring you out all right. Glory to your name. Oh. Have faith in God. Faith. Someone might say, I don't have enough faith. I just have a little. Well, thank God for the little. And you can always ask him, Lord, increase my faith. The apostle asked him, increase my faith. So we can ask too. But just use what you have. Hallelujah. God will accept that. Matthew 17 and 20 says, if you have faith, as a grain of a mustard seed, he shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall be removed. Not maybe, but it shall be. And nothing, nothing, nothing is impossible with God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Philippians 4 and 19 says, God will supply all your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. But not only will he give you your needs, but he'll give you your wants. Psalms 37 and 4 says, Hallelujah, delight thyself in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of your heart. Right. Desires is one. Desires is something you're longing for, something that you're waiting on. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Just have faith in God. Hallelujah. You can have what you want. When I was a child growing up, I used to hear people say, God will give you the, your heart desire. Hallelujah. So as I grew up, I realized that I could have my heart desire, and I thought that was one. And when I got married and I had my children, hallelujah, I said, Lord, bless them. Bless them. Hallelujah. Bless me, Lord, that I can see them get grown. And I thank God for that on tonight. All of them are grown. But see, when you read your word and you get in your word a little bit more, I knew that I could have more than one desire. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I just have to have faith. Yeah. Hallelujah. And believe and not doubt. Don't waver. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. See, we can have abundance. We don't have to settle for one. No, Glory to your name. 